What's up guys? Welcome to Draw School episode 16. Man, it's been a bit. I am sorry. I have been super busy during COVID. I'm telling you, I'm working more than I did before and it's a blessing, but hey. But anyways, on this episode, I am going to show you guys how to take ear drawings and color them in Photoshop easily from black and white into full color. All right. So let's jump right into it. Run my intro. All right, so we are here in Photoshop. This is actually a drawing that I did in one of my drawing sessions. If you guys want to go back and watch that, that would be helpful for this episode in particular. <laughs> so what we're going to do today is we're going to go ahead and color this drawing. I want to show you guys how to color in a specific way. So here we're going to make this a mid-tone layer. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and lasso around this character. Now I'm speeding this up here. Go around his legs and his feet. Now I don't know if you, I've told you guys in the past that you can add to the lasso tool with shift and you subtract with option on a Mac or alt on a PC. So there we go, we have him selected. Now I'm gonna select a mid-tone, maybe the color right here. And then I'm gonna fill it with Option Delete on a Mac. Also Alt Delete on a PC. Now what I did there is I hid the ants. So it's still selected, but I hit them. So here I made a dark layer above the mid-tones and we're gonna start rendering. So I'm gonna add some shadows here above the eyes because that area is in shadow. And then I'm gonna go ahead, continue adding shadows and get my brushes right. Hold on one second. All right, so we're adding shadows. Under the eyes here, around the cheek, under the nose for sure under the lips, under the other eye. Let's make this gradient on his eye that I like to do. Makes him look a little bit more realistic. Of course, the shadow of the eyelid has to go on the eyeball. A little eyebrow ridge, shadow that. It's getting a tad bit dark here. But let's just get everything in. I'm shading his cheek, down at the bottom, his ear, where it would be dark, his hair. I'm gonna add some volume to it. Shade around here, so it looks like he's smiling. His neck region, okay. It's dreadlock. This character has dreadlocks is what I envision. A little gem here. Now I am making a soft eraser so that I can erase parts. And here, now it's time for the lights layer. We're gonna add some lights. So same thing, I'm gonna pick another light gray and I'm gonna start adding in some lights where I feel the light should go. Now the lights layer, I zoomed in all dramatic there, but yeah, that's the lights layer. And uh, and some highlights here. So we're assuming that the light is coming from the top left. 
there. Nice little bright highlight on his nose and his eye. Now you guys can see how adding darks and lights really pops out your drawings. And this is good for any of you guys who are better at shading in black and white. And then when it comes to color, you have issues or problems doing that. So this, you can just do what you're good at, shading black and white. And then I'll show you how to add color to it here in a little bit. All right, so I'm forming the shape with darks and lights here. I'm giving him some form. Pulling away, adding eyelids here, brightening up a bit of his cheek, his ear, different areas. Right, that's looking pretty cool there. Add some texture to his hair. Awesome. All right, so I'm going a bit lighter now. Adding the rim lighting to his nose. And a few lighter lights on his ear to create more shape. Adding the texture to his hair again. Going back and forth, I like to go back and forth, jump around the subject, go his hair a little bit, go down to his chin, come back up. That gives you a little bit of time to reevaluate what you did and then you can make more changes, like taking a step back. It's always good to stay, take a step back from your drawing and come back to it later. All right, so I'm adding rim lighting to the hair, to his shoulder, checking a little bit. There's a shadow under his lip. All right, what is the next step? All right, so I'm checking it. So you see here, that's just the mid-tones line drawing there. Now I am making a flat color layer after I checked out everything. Now I selected the whole region again by clicking Command and selecting the mid-tone layer. And now we will add some flat colors. I figured this would be a good skin color here. So what you wanna do is you wanna throw the flat colors down first while you're laying them down under the inks layer. So you can see your flat colors as you're adding them. Now I'm gonna make that pupils white, or the eyes white, and then maybe the actual eyes will be green. And I'm selecting the hair, which let's go with a funky color. I think I'm gonna do like a bluish color for his hair. Now let's add some reds to the lips, not too far off from his actual skin color. And we'll blend it in. Greens of his eyes, we'll do a little gradient in green. We'll add some reds to his cheeks, nose, and ears. And that's because your blood flow really shows there and then some more yellowish colors to his forehead. Because there's less blood flow up there because your skull pressing up against your skin there most all right so now we throw the black colors on top of everything and we put it on color you see that and now I'm messing with the opacity to find out where it would look the best now I didn't have to do too much with colors there I just shaded it in the grays black and black and whites and then I added some colors and now I'm just going back and I'm tweaking in the flat colors layer I'm tweaking the colors a bit Adding different colors as I feel fit. Adding more reds or whatever, maybe some greens to the hair. Just 
after you already have the base of the black and whites and you rendered it out like now you're just really messing with the colors and the opacity to see what looks good and now let's go ahead and mess with the saturation a bit let's bump that up so i added an adjustment layer and i'm messing with the saturation lightness and hue of it all right and put that to now we made a soft light layer we put it to soft light made it red and then you mask it out and subtract it from different places and it gives it kind of like a glow to the skin here just a technique that artists use you see now like the skin is glowing a bit but you don't want to have it too much on the shadows or the hair it's more so for the skin you see that and now i made a different layer and what i'm going to do in this layer is actually add some of my darks back into the eyes because once you do that layer, it kind of washes away some of your darks. So I'm adding back some darks to add some, some pop here. A little grading, maybe a little bit on the eyelashes here. And then in the corner of the mouth there. And there. Cool. And maybe under his chin where the shadow would be dark. around there cool look at that how fast did we do that guys you render black and white you make a flat color layer add your colors bring it to the top put it on color and then you just add details I'm adding a few little white lines here white lines there some highlights more texture some details Bring in the highlights again. We are almost finished here. And I'm just cleaning up. And you can go way further than this. Like this is pretty basic. Like maybe I'll show you guys in a future video how to take it even further from here. But this is pretty wrapped up. Now I'm just gonna clean it up. Give it a once over see okay here's a an adjustment layer let's do some curves the curves what it does is it messes with the lights and the darks all right so i did some curves and now some hue saturation adjustment again so there it is that is my original character rudy hopefully i have a comic book in the future it won't be rendered like this. This was just to show you guys how to use this technique. But here I'm going to show you guys how it was and what we turned it into. From line work with some black and white shading and then a black color layer on the top set to color. That was it. Hopefully you guys learned a lot. Man, that was crazy, right? So I don't know if you guys knew about that, but you shade in black and white in Photoshop, you rendered it, render it all super nice. And then you make a flat color layer. You set that to color and it automatically, automatically turns your drawing into color. And then you just got to mess with the colors a bit. hit some hue saturation adjustments, some curve adjustments and boom, you have a fully colored drawing. I know that will help a lot of you out there who have trouble coloring things just from scratch. All right, so black and white to color. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you're, subs make sure you're subs man, I can't talk today. Make sure you're subscribing, like this video, comment guys. I'm still giving away Illo sketchbooks even though they're out right now. So make sure you guys are doing those things so you can possibly win an Illo sketchbook. All right, I'll see you guys on the next episode. Later.